A surge in respiratory illnesses among children is being too is beginning to put a strain on hospitals nationwide and in the Central Valley. Gabe Salazar is live at Valley Children's Hospital where they're seeing a dramatic increase in RSV cases. Gabe? Yeah, Jen, here at Valley Children's, pediatricians are seeing a sudden and dramatic uptick in RSV cases. Now, doctors say part of the reason why is prolonged quarantining due to COVID-19. Two years of uh, staying indoors, preventing young children from developing an immune response. Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, usually causes mild cold-like symptoms, but infants and older adults may develop severe infections because the virus weakens their lungs. This year we're starting to see an increase a little bit sooner, which is a little abnormal. Because of the virus, nearly 75% of the country's estimated 40,000 pediatric hospital beds are now full. Dr. Whitney Kalin says babies born during the pandemic are more at risk for respiratory illness because they weren't able to develop immunity to different viruses. And so a lot of kids just weren't out and about, weren't getting exposed to this type of illness, and so now they're all getting it kind of all at once. RSV cases typically surge from December to February, but this month, Valley Children's has more RSV cases than any other respiratory illness, including COVID-19. While symptoms are usually not serious, infants younger than six months of age and older adults may need to be hospitalized if they have trouble breathing or are dehydrated. In most cases, a person may require oxygen. Though there are no vaccines for RSV, everyone can take simple preventative steps. Simple common things like wearing a mask if you're sick and especially washing your hands are still the number one thing you can do to help prevent the spread of this and other illnesses. And doctors also expect a more active flu season, and so they are urging more people to get their flu shots now. Live at Valley Children's, Gabe Salazar, KC24, local news that matters.